wellness chiropractor. I've been in practice in New York and New Jersey for 36 years. And are you angry about what's going on in the world today? Are you angry with what's going on in politics? Are you angry about health care? Well, I'm angry because last week I was sitting down and reading the paper, and there were two articles, two pages away from each other, about health. First one was, it says, water, way to go, W-E-I-G-H. And it talks about treatment for obese kids. And I'll read just the first paragraph. Researchers at NYU have discovered a simple solution to childhood obesity. Drink more water at lunch. I've been espousing that forever. I've been in practice all these years, talk to people about the basics, eating healthy, drinking water. That's what they found is, the, is one of the cures for childhood obesity. Then the next page, it talks about from the Eagles, Glenn Fry passed away. It says, Eagles rocker suffered joint agony. Eagles rocker Glenn Fry suffered from debilitating rheumatoid arthritis for years and died partly because of the pills he took for it, his manager said Tuesday. He died from complications of ulcer and colitis after be being treated with drugs for his rheumatoid arthritis. The colitis and pneumonia were side effects from all the meds. So th this is popular press documentation. I'm just reading what, what's out there in all the papers and articles and journals. And it's pretty amazing that, that all of these things are going on in this world today, especially in healthcare, the commercials about drugs. Try natural approaches, try alternative approaches, non-invasive approaches, drugless approaches, eating better, exercising. I think it'll take you a long way. If you need the medication, obviously you take it. But certainly, there are other options out there for you. Thank you very much. On a side note, from the CDC website, the Center for Disease Control, a couple of stats. Every day in the United States, 44 people die as a result of opi a prescription opioid overdose. Also, they say deaths from prescription painkiller overdoses among women increased more than 400% during 1999 to 2010, compared to only 237% among men. And lastly, there were 43,982 drug overdose deaths in the U.S. in 2013. Of these, 22,767, or 51.8%, were related to prescription drugs. That's from the CDC, letting you know the, the adverse effects, potential adverse effects of prescription drugs. Thank you.